It's arrived! The fur coat! It's here! And we're all so happy and grateful. It's wonderful to have the fur coat back again. And we're just going to <clears throat> have an interview now. The interview by Mrs. Lula Tugusa. So Mrs. L Ms. Lula, just fire away your questions to the fur coat about its harrowing experiences in the Antarctic. Uh, was the fur coat <laughs> scared about uh, doing the scene originally? Well, mm, well, coat, I, I know I was more worried, but <laughs> you were probably just being foolhardy thinking you know, it thought it was going to be nothing, you know, the movie studio, you know, it, the fur coat is very gullible and trusting, it trusts the um, technicians and the stunt coordinators, even though they've never done it themselves, they still think they know how it'll turn out, which is not always how things turn out. So, uh, the fur coat didn't realize the full impact of what could go wrong, you know. Um, oh, rest, definitely, yes, I agree, the fur coat needs a lot of rest, it was a very harrowing experience, and, and I don't think the fur coat will be taking any more interviews after this for a while. Uh, well, you'd be, you'd be pooped too if you had been buried in an avalanche for a month and then rescued by some Eskimos and kept in the fur shed for another couple of weeks. And finally, before finally getting home, I would say you would definitely be pooped. So we're only granting this interview because, you know, the, the party tomorrow, and we just knew the fans would be desperately worried about the fur coat. So we figured we owed an interview to the fans. Okay, what's the next question? <sighs> no comment. We'd like to, like to say that we really don't want to do any more Arctic film, films this time, or snowy films. It's just, it's too soon to discuss doing a snow film again. I mean, even though you're saying fur coats ideally go in the snow, it was just a little too much this past time. So we're just going to take our time about deciding what parts. I mean, actually, the fur coat was thinking it might like to do, um a summer movie, even though it's hot. <laughs> oh yes, I knew you were excited about that party and, and meeting the president. I know before we've only had communications like, you know, cards and phone calls from the president, but actually he might stop by, so we're not sure. It just might happen. <clears throat> Oh, well, no, the fur coat's not going to retirement. We're going on vacation. A nice long vacation in Bermuda. After the party, of course. And the studio is paying for everything. They feel so terrible because of what happened to the fur coat. I mean, it could have been much worse, and they could have had a much worse suit on their hands. I mean, I could have sued, but I settled for a, you know, a settlement and a paid vacation for the fur coat and the whole fur family, you know. The fur jacket is so, we're all so happy to be back together again. Fur jacket and the little fur blanket, um, and the, the fur blanket's postponing its, um, screen test with Bing Ding, and it'll pick it up another time, probably. So we just need some family time to, um, relax and enjoy life. And I guess that's about all for this interview. The dear fur coat is, is getting tired. So we will see you for an interview after we return from Bermuda and get ready for more contracts and more of films. Thank you, Ms. Lula. You're very sweet. On behalf of the fur coat and all of us, we thank you.